armed officers! All uniformed officers!
Let us unite with our chaplain in prayer. Unto thee, O God, Father of all things, do we come in our hour of grief and bereavement. Thou, who doth mark the sparrows fall, and who doth even number the hairs on our heads, look with infinite compassion on our weakness, and in our hour of need, give strength to which thou alone can impart. As we commit the body of our brother to his resting, May we realize how weak is every human arm, and may we trust in thy mind alone. Grant thy grace to these dear ones this day, and may thy comfort be theirs, as they await that day when death shall swallow up in victory. Amen. Loved ones, friends, brother. We have assembled today to perform the last duty the living can render to the dead. We pay our tribute of love and esteem to our departed friend and brother, Samuel Leonard, who was a beloved member of Milan Lodge No. 11, ancient friend accepted Masons. We mourn the loss of Brother Samuel, whose spirit has been summoned into the presence of the Lord and Father of all men. While we are assured that the storms of life can no longer subdue him, we should consider the certainty of death and the vanity of all earthly ambitions. From time immemorial, it has been the custom among the fraternity of free and accepted Masons at the request of a brother or of his family to perform the last rites with the usual ceremonies of the craft. In conformity to that, we are assembled in the character of Masons to offer to the memory of Brother Samuel this tribute of our affection. The passing of Brother Samuel Leonard from the cares and troubles of this transitory existence has removed another link in the fraternal chain by which we are united man to man. May we who survive him be more strongly bound in the ties of friendship and union. Unto heaven we consign the spirit of Brother Samuel. We trustfully leave his spirit in the hands of him who doeth all things well. With those of his immediate family, we sincerely and deeply and most affectionately sympathize. On every living thing. The cradle and the coffin stand side by side. And it is a solemn truth that once we begin to live, at that moment we begin to die. Yet how seldom do we seriously consider our own approaching end. We go from design to design, add hope to hope, and lay out plans for the employment of many years. Then the messenger of death comes when we least expect him. What are all the externals of majesty, the pride of wealth, or charms of beauty when nature has paid her last just debt? In heaven, all fallacies are detected. All ranks leveled. All distinctions done away. Here the scepter of the prince and the staff of the beggar lay side by side. Let us see to it and so regulate our lives by the plumb line of justice, ever squaring our actions by the square of virtue, that when the grand warden of heaven shall call us from our labors, we may be found ready. Let us cultivate the noble tenets of our professions, brotherly love, relief, and truth that when our summons draws nigh, let us with joy go forth from our labors on earth to eternal refreshment in the presence of an all-wise governor, whereby an unshaken faith in the merits of the line of the tribe of Judah, we shall gain admission into that celestial lodge above, 
when the Supreme Architect presides. This white apron is the first gift of Freemasonry given to Brother Samuel. It is an emblem of innocence and the badge of a Mason, more ancient than the golden fleece of Roman eagle, more honorable when worthily worn. This we now place on his casket. We are reminded by this of the universal dominion of death. The arm of friendship cannot interpose to prevent its coming. The wealth of the world cannot purchase exemption. Nor will the innocence of youth or the charms of beauty or the senility of age change its purpose. This evergreen is an emblem of the enduring faith in the immortality of the soul. By it we are reminded that we have a life within us that shall survive the grave and which shall never, never, never die. By it we are reminded that we too, like Brother Samuel, shall soon be clothed in the habiliments of death. Yet through our belief in the mercies of God, we can confidently hope that our souls will bloom in eternal spring. We consign the spirit of Brother Samuel unto heaven. Ashes to ashes, and dust shall dust. The earth shall return into God who gave it. Let us unite in prayer. Almighty God, we now turn from this solemn service to the duties of life. We pray, O Lord, that thy hand will lead us in all the paths our feet will be called upon to tread. And when the journey of this life is ended, may the light from our mortal home illuminate the dark valley and the voices of loved ones gone before. Welcome us home to that house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Amen. Those of you that would like, please join the Masons in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the blessings of heaven rest upon us and all regular Masons. May brotherly love prevail and ever moral and social virtue seem in us. Amen. This concludes the public memorial for our departed friend and brother, Samuel Leonard.
uniformed officers! Hold hands! Color team leader, retire the colors. Officers! Dismissed! Quick, don't be a